Hey y'all, hopefully this is going to be a short video. I'm showing you how to connect ADB or use ADB debugging over your network. Uh, no USB cable is needed. So we're going to go down here to settings. We're going to go to about. Go down to build. Clicking. We're going to click this until you see you are now a developer. So once you see that, we want to go back out and continue down to uh, developer options. We're going to go to USB debugging. Now you're going to click that. You're going to click OK here. It's telling you what it's doing. If you have anything connected in that port right now, unplug it uh, or unplug it before you get to this point because it's not going to work. We're going to just hit the select button on that, and then we're going to go down to network debugging. We click that, then you should get, um, give it a two or three seconds, and you'll see that pop up. We say enabled, so you got your, um, I can't think of what that is right now. I know it, but anyway, you got the, under, under there, you got the IP address with the port number. You're going to need that number and um, write it down, memorize it, whatever you need to do, you need it. So at this point, we're going to go to the computer and um, the ADB debugging um, software or program that's, I'll leave a link to it in the um, description. So you just install it on your computer and open it up and it should look like this. Well, not necessarily this one. Let's get out of that. It should look like this. Okay. When you first open it up. So what we're going to do, we're going to type in ADB connect and you type in that IP address that was under that network debugging. And we hit enter. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the shield. So once you hit enter, this should pop up on your shield. Now you can click that always allow from this computer. I don't check that, it's my preference. And you just hit okay. So to know if this is truly connected, we're gonna go back to the computer and go to go back into this and we will type in ADB devices so you hit enter and if you have a list and it actually shows that IP address you are connected so that's all I'm going to show in this video um, ADB networking I mean using ADB is great because it allows you to do different things on your shield without having to root your shield. Um, you can also root your shield through ADB. Um, it has lots of, you have lot, a lot of options um, when you're using the ADB. So I got a couple of videos that I want to do using that. I'll refer back to this video to show you how to do it. Um, thank y'all for watching my video. Hit them thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.